welcome back everyone to another video. Thank you so much for all the support. I'm just chilling inside my car right now. It's raining, it's snowing outside, so it's, we're probably not gonna fly it today. It's really bad weather. In this episode, I got a real special thing going on. We're going to follow one of my friends and my coworker as we work together, and he is a pilot. So we're gonna go uh, ask the burning questions that we all wanna know about EMS pilots, and you'll be surprised about the stuff that we don't know about. The, what goes on in their job and kind of behind the scenes and kind of all the extra work that they have to do that's not just flying the plane let's get to it uh, i'm gonna go run out there and uh go get him let's go meet him oh it's gonna be fun <laughs> Okay, uh, the people want to know, okay, first of all, this, this is uh, Jurgen, and then we've been working together for, for about, I don't know, three years now? Yeah, it's been a bit. Yeah. Before we get into, like, the questions, like, what is your experience in aviation? Uh, let's see. So, I started off with my, uh, rather, my first flying job was in aerial photography. I did crop aerial photography for about five years. Oh, um, got God. tired of looking at <laughs> plants more or less so I switched over to flying FedEx freight for about a year and a half and then I came out here to guide in flight and then so you've been flying EMS for about what like, uh almost four years now been four bit. years yeah be four almost. years this coming March how come you didn't want to do like the traditional like airline stuff I get to be home every night here the airlines it probably take me a while before I get that kind of schedule plus I kind of always just wanted to do medevac um it just <laughs> Took a bit to get the hours required. What do you mean? What do you mean Speak by to my what do you mean by schedule? Like, um, so basically, if nothing's wrong weather-wise or airplane-wise, I get to be home every night, um, mostly because I live in base. Um, right. On the airlines, I'd probably be going for a couple days a week, which isn't too bad if you don't mind. I just I like to be home. Yeah. I'm actually kind of a good uh, a little interview you just did on Jurgen. Yeah, yeah. That's Jurgen, why do you want to go on the airlines? As he's like in the thing. Oh that's yeah, that's kind of a good little interview he did with you. Do you know off the top of your head to be an EMS pilot, like the qualifications you need to be one? Um, at a minimum, you need Pat 135 minimums, which is more or less 1,200 hours. A couple other things that I'm not going to bore you with, but you have a minimum hours requirement in order to fly Pat 135. Yeah. Um, and then beyond that, guiding flight really kind of wants about 2,500 total time in order to do this. So if you have that, you'll be good. On the Pilata side, you don't really need any multi-engine, but on the King Air side, they want you to have at least 500 hours. So okay. that's more or less what you need to have. <laughs> and, and like a big difference for us would be like, you actually make patient contact. You're, right. You're, you're fueling your own aircraft sometimes. There's like, a bit more hands-on work than in the airlines where I would probably not be doing this, but... Yeah. Oh yeah, he's cleaning the windshield. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, more rewarding. You get to take ownership for this aircraft and make sure it's in good shape and... At least I get to fly the same plane more or less every yeah. day. I'm not Another uh, fixed wing pilot. Let me be. Well, what do you like about this job, though? Uh, the time off, the ability to have the time off, uh, 14 days straight, is pretty nice. <laughs> Someone wanted to, like, I'm a young high school graduate or even college graduate, and I want to go into like EMS, right? Uh, like EMS, like fixed wing pilot. Like, how? What, what is like an, an advice you would give someone? Not like, right. not necessarily the course they should go through, but like, what do you, like, just a general advice? Like, hey, like, don't give up. Like, I know something they might run into or something like that or um don't give up is a good one because it takes a while to get here because you need like 2500 hours before most ems companies will let you fly 2000 to 2500 hours that's a lot it takes some time <laughs> even more time than it would take like going to charter or the airlines or something like that um so if that's what you want to do just keep at it really what's like the what's a really discouraging part like that you think like a, a hump that you have to get over with. for me when i first thought about doing medevac i kind of looked into it and found out like how much time you needed to get there they, they want professional pilots it's a rough 
you know, environment to fly in. Oh. It's late at night. Yeah, it is. Yeah. In the middle of nowhere. So yeah. they do want <laughs> you to be somewhat experienced. Okay. Um, I kind of just put it to the back of my mind for a couple of years and did literally everything else in my career. And then I was like, oh, wait, hey, this is still a thing. A friend of mine kind of like uh, reached out to me and asked me, hey, do you want to fly the Pilatus for Medivac? I was like, oh, yeah, that was a girl I had. Oh, okay. And, um, that's when I applied. And then so, finally, like, you had the hours. Yeah, the hours. because early I had the hours maybe two years before I came here. Oh, okay. Um, but I wanted more instrument experience before I actually came and did something like this. So yeah. flying for FedEx or if our FedEx video actually gave me that. So almost like, uh, like have the goal in mind, mm -hmm. but um, don't be like so focused on it that you're like counting each and every hour of like flying. Aviation is a lot easier if you're not like you know constantly like i gotta get there i gotta get there oh, okay. if you just enjoy where you're at you'll find you'll look back and kind of be like oh man i miss being able to land anywhere i want yeah, yeah, yeah i mean that's a good example right now if i wanted to land somewhere i need to get like it's i don't get to choose where i go i get to be a part of the decision but i don't choose where we go specifically whereas back when i flew here photography i could look down at an airplane and be like oh that looks cool let's go there yeah. right? as long as it was it's safe all, to it's do all like so. different parts of yeah it's, it's different type of flying and so enjoy where you're at so that you know you can look back and be you know at fond memories of that yeah, as yeah. opposed to being like i should have spent more time enjoying that instead of rushing the whole time That's um, like which that. worked out for me i mean by the time I left to aerial photography, I think I'd had, you know, my fill of flying Piper hours. Um, and when I flew for FedEx, I really enjoyed that, but I wanted to do something, you know, more advanced. I wanted to challenge myself a bit more. And so it made it a lot easier <laughs> to kind of like step up to this because it was like, oh, this is the next step, you know, in the journey of aviation. That's cool. So that was cool.